Hey, my name is Jonas, and today I want to show you how you can get started with Player B on the Raspberry Pi using our image. First step is after you purchase, download the Raspberry Pi image.gc. It's the .img.gc that you want to download, not the app. If you downloaded that, you also need a second software utility called Raspberry Pi Imager. And when you install that, I'm going to show you what you do. You go into, you open up your Raspberry Pi Imager, click Choose OS. Normally you would choose any of those if you do a custom or manual install. But we want to go down to Use Custom. And then you want to navigate to where you downloaded your Player B image. In this case, it's player bv1.13, which is part of the beta for version 2. So this will have all the greatest and latest features. Click that, you click open, then you click choose storage. And you want to choose the SD card that you have selected here. What's really important is that if you click on here, you have nothing selected here, especially for the username and password and SSH. I've already set that up for you. Uh, username is b, password is bytehive and the host name is playoutb. So if you want to change your host name, you can do that here. If you want to enable wireless, you can do that here. But um, you need to leave username and SSH alone. Otherwise, it will override the existing configs that we've created for you. Then auto start and all that will not work on first try. You can recover from it, um, but it makes everything a little more difficult. And then you want to click on write. It says everything will be erased from that SD card. We're going to click yes. Now we'll just uh, need to wait while this is writing. Now that it's done, you'll uh, have this pop-up message, uh, write successful, and we're going to say continue. And then you can take out the SD card from the reader. Make sure your Raspberry Pi is not powered while you put it in. Put in the SD card, connect Ethernet, and uh, an HDMI output to your switcher or where you can see it and uh, then power it and I'll show you what happens when you power it on. Okay, so now I've put in Ethernet, I put in the HDMI cable, I put in my micro SD card and now it's gonna power on. You're gonna see there's two lights, there's a green and a red light. The green lights will start blinking and now we're just gonna wait for a couple uh, minutes for the Raspberry Pi to fully boot and be ready for us. You should see some text flowing around there. You'll see some player B is loading images, but just give it a while. It will boot into a prepared graphic automatically. So just give it a minute or a couple minutes. Now you're gonna see a brief desktop show up for a couple seconds while Player B gets loaded in the background and then Player B is gonna open itself up. And now we're ready. So it says Player B ready, go to Player B colon 3000. So I'll go to play out B colon 3000 in the browser. In the past, you might remember you had to go to slash control. Now you don't. And you see Player B version two is here now. Um, what we set up for you to make it a little easier to understand if everything is working with these two test images that Player B is just gonna click through. And now to add your own files, click the plus. I have a couple sample files here. All of these are supported. There's images in here, videos, audio. You can select all of them, click open. It's gonna take a second to upload them all. What you might notice, there's a slight delay when you click to when it happens. It is because we want to make sure that there's a seamless transition between two clips. So we actually preload the next clip before we switch to the current one. So right now I can play this. And then we'll have a nice see you next time. Goodbye slide. Um, now you can do this. You can delete our test images here and then you have all your assets here. Also in the background, you should already hear some little bit of music because we're playing some music from the player B through the HDMI into the ATEM. Right now it's automatically set to the HDMI. Um, if you want to change it to the headphone output jack from the Raspberry Pi, you can change it in the Raspberry Pi UI. And with that, thank you so much for watching. I hope this introduction helped you a little bit getting to know Player B and how to get started with Player B on your Raspberry Pi. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me in the comments, via email or on Discord. And if you don't want to miss any more YouTube videos, hit subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.